G'day folks, welcome to my channel. In this video, I wanna share with you a video clip that somebody sent me from a woman named Apostle Catherine Crick. And in this video, she prays for somebody with multiple sclerosis and prays for them to be healed. Now, I wanna play you this clip and I want you to decide for yourself, is this a real healing? But before I do, let me read to you a passage of scripture where it says this in Revelation chapter two, beginning in verse two, it says this, I know thy works and thy labor and thy patience and how thou cannot bear them that are evil. And thou hast tried or tested them which say they are apostles and are not and has found them liars. You see here, Jesus is commending the church in Ephesus for testing those that claim to be apostles, but were not and finding them to be liars. There's nothing wrong with testing to see if someone truly is an apostle. And there's many ways to test them, but one of them is false miracles. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 12 verse 12, that these are the signs of an apostle, signs, wonders, and miracles. Watch this clip. And afterwards, we want to compare this miracle to the miracles in the Bible. It's time to be free and healed and walk right now. Thank you, Lord. I break every curse off of your life, every curse of witchcraft, every curse upon your, your physical body. I break it now. I detach you from all you spoke now. And on three, every spirit attached, every spirit of witchcraft, every spirit of infirmity, every spirit coming in through those gangs must leave you on three. In Jesus' name, one, two, three. Out now. And I declare healing to you now. I declare your legs to be healed completely and you to walk well now. I declare every dead thing in your legs and your body to come alive now in Jesus' name. I declare your legs to be strengthened and restored. I speak creative miracles in your legs now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I declare you to walk now. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Be filled with this anointing. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You're walking. You're walking. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To me, that video is incredibly sad. The man seems like he's in incredible pain as he's desperately trying to walk and they are falsely leading him into total false hope. And there is absolutely nothing miraculous about that moment whatsoever. And if you're the kind of person who views that and thinks that that might be a miracle, you have zero discernment. You have no capacity to discern between truth and error whatsoever because anyone, anyone could do that to someone in a wheelchair because many people who have multiple sclerosis can probably walk that way without uh, any miraculous healing whatsoever. To me, when I saw that it's so shocking and so sad. And when you compare it to the Bible, you can see clearly that it is absolutely fake. If we look, for example, in the book of Acts chapter three, beginning in verse six, it says this, then Peter said, silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, give I thee 
In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and lifted him up, and immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. And he, leaping up, stood and walked and entered with them into the temple, walking and leaping and praising God. And all the people saw him walking and praising God. It's very clear here that when we see a miracle in the Bible, it's a real miracle. It's not a fake miracle. It's a real miracle here. This man uh, uh, jumps up, he leaps up, and he goes and walks into the temple with the apostles, walking and leaping and praising God in front of everyone. Now, I want to show you another couple of uh, uh, scriptures. The first one is in Acts chapter 4 at verse 16, and this is when the religious leaders of Israel are talking about what to do with the apostles because it says nobody could dispute that they had performed a miracle. It says here, verse 16, saying, What shall we do to these men? For that indeed a notable miracle has been done by them is manifest. It's manifest. It's clear and obvious. We keep reading, to all them that dwell in Jerusalem, and we cannot deny it. You see here, even the opponents of the apostles that wanted to throw them in jail could not deny that the apostles had performed a great miracle. Let me read to you another verse, Acts chapter 14, verse 8 to 10, and it says this, But there sat a certain man at Lystra, impotent in his feet, being a cripple from his mother's womb, who never had walked. The same heard Paul speak, who steadfastly beholding him, and perceiving that he had faith to be healed, said with a loud voice, Stand upright on thy feet. And he leapt up and walked. You see here a miracle. He doesn't even grab him by the hand. He just looks at him intently and says, Stand up and walk. And he immediately leapt up and began to walk. Is that what we see here in this video? Absolutely not. What we see is a total fake, a total fraud, taking advantage of a poor man, a crippled man with multiple sclerosis in a wheelchair, giving him total false hope and falsely claiming that she had performed a miracle. This is absolutely disgusting. Now, whenever I point out these fake miracles, people try to argue that in Mark chapter 8, Jesus healed a blind man in two stages. And this miracle is another example of somebody being healed in two stages. They say that this person has received the first stage, but they're yet to receive the second stage of their healing. Now, I want to make a couple of points here. First of all, when you look at this passage in Mark 8, you'll see that the person receives the second stage immediately. It's not months later. It's not years later. It's, it's not even hours later. It's immediately. He immediately receives the second stage of this miracle. Secondly, uh, this is a once off. You'll never see anywhere else in scripture where Jesus heals someone in two stages. You'll never see the apostles heal someone in two stages. This is a once off event. And yet these people, they never deliver on the supposed second stage of the miracle. And it seems to be every miracle that they present is only a first stage miracle. It's either some great grandiose story they tell you, or they give you a video of a partial healing. It's also worth noting that these people, uh, they're not even healing anyone. When you look at that video, that man doesn't seem healed at all in any sense. They're helping him walk. He's in extreme pain. And in the end, he's straight back in his wheelchair and he is never healed at all in any sense of the word. Yet when we read in the Gospels, they are always healed. Every miracle is a genuine Miracle. So to try to make the comparison between the miracle of Jesus healing the blind man in two stages, that blind man walked away fully healed and both stages were genuine miracles. To try to compare that to the healing, these fake healings presented in these videos all over YouTube is absolutely ridiculous. It's absolutely 
silly. And one of the reasons, perhaps if you believe in miracles today, if you believe in the, in the gifts uh, today, perhaps one of the reasons why we're not really seeing it is because everybody's settled for the fake. Have you ever thought about that? Everybody's settled for the fake, and so therefore they never get the genuine. I hope you've liked this video. If you have, please consider subscribing. Give me a thumbs up, hit the bell notification button. I'll see you in the comment section, and you'll see me in my next video.